What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are doing a tier list from Gamera Movies. I have not done this before. Gamera is one of my favourite monster series to exist. I like it almost as much as Godzilla. Probably not as much, but almost as much. Um, and here are all the movies we're going to rank. They do not, didn't do it in movie evolution order, so, so I'll just have to find them. But that can't be that bad. So the categories we've got are S, A, B, C, D, and F. But, um, so here are all the movies. Let's get started. Quick disclaimer, I don't know the accurate evolution order. So, for example, I know that Gamera vs. Virus was made before Gamera vs. Ziggurat. If I put Gamera vs. Ziggurat at the front because I didn't know what was actually made after, then sorry about that. And because I don't know the full order, but I know some of the orders. So, the first one is Gamera the Giant Monster. Now, unlike Kong 1933, Godzilla 1954, all those films that are always the most popular, Gamera, um, the original Gamera was one of the more hated ones, but personally for me, it's still one of the better movies out there. Like, the grey and white screens in the background look beautiful, and Gamera as a monster was threatening, and I like... Um, and this may be a bit controversial, I didn't mind the kid that told all the people to leave Gamera alone. I'm going to put this one in B tier. It's not that bad. It's quite underrated. The next movie, Gamera vs. Barugon. Now, um, it's not the Barugon from Godzilla. But, um, yeah, so um, Gamera vs. Barugon to easily my favourite Showa Gamera film. I am going to put it in tier A. It's a really good one. And... And personally, quite underrated as well, because the Showa Gamera films are actually not that popular. Um, and, um, yeah, something I like about Gamera vs. Barugon is Barugon's a very creative monster with awesome abilities. The final fight was pretty cool. Barugon having a fear of water was very unique and creative. And, yeah, I like it for that. Now, Gamera vs. Gauss is my second favourite. It is going in B tier in front of Gamera the Giant Monster. Um, I really like Gauss. Gauss is um, the villain used the most in Gamera movies. Gauss is easily one of the most creative Gamera villains out there, hands down. And um, next, I'm pretty sure the next movie was... Um, I'm pretty sure this one right here is Gamera vs. Virus. Um, wait, let me take a look. Yes, this one's pre- I'm pretty sure this one is Gamera vs. Virus. I'm sorry if this one isn't Gamera vs. Virus, but it'll have to do. Gamera vs. Virus is- This is when the Gamera movies started to become way more goofy. The first three um, didn't contain that much comedy, they just contained fights. Like, they did contain comedy, but the real comedy began at Gamma vs. Virus. And um, I'm not a big fan of the goofy Gamma films, because the characters can be um, not the best. And the fights can be a bit awkward, in a very good way. Gamma vs. Virus is going in C tier. Now, Gamera vs. Sigra is um, one of the worst Gamera films by far. Like, although Sigra is um, a monster that they for sure succeeded to make, that does not um, change anything for me. Gamera vs. Sigra is going in D tier. For me... This is where um, Gamera films begin to be better. I just realised that Gamera vs. Sigur is the f final show of Gamera film. Well, no. Gamera Super Monster is the final show of Gamera film. But Gamera vs. Sigur was... Um, not including Gamera Super Monster. Gamera vs. Sigur was definitely later. So I, that's my first mess up, but oh well. Next one's Gamera vs. Giran. Okay, this one's easily the funniest. Um, it's the only um, Gamera film 
that managed to make, like, um, goofy monster fights done right. I'm going to put this one in front of Gamera the Giant Monster, but behind Gamera vs. Gauss. Um, this one was really fun to watch. Okay, this one's Gamera vs. Jiger. Um, warning to some people, Gamera vs. Jiger is actually way gorier than I thought it was going to be. Um, um... One of the less recommended ones, to be honest. Unlike most Scooby movies, this one slightly focuses more on the on the fight with all the blood and stuff. I'm going to put this one at C tier above Gamera vs. Virus. Um, it's a, it's an alright one. Now Gamera Super Monster is gonna go in F. Um, it's it's not that exciting. It's quite a lazy film. All that stuff, I don't I don't really need to explain for Gamera the Super Monster. Next one, we are moving on to the Heisei Gamera movies. And there's nothing wrong with any of these movies. They are all perfect. Now, um, Gamera Guardian of the Universe is my least favourite Heisei Gamera film. And it's still good. I'm going to put this one behind Gamera vs. Barugon. Um... Gauss is a creative villain. Like I said, Gauss was mentioned quite a lot. Gamera's new design is absolutely sick. I love it. And yeah, it's just an awesome update compared to the Showa Gamera films. Now next up, we've got Gamera 2 Attack of Legion. This one's straight to the S tier. Um, this one was really good. Um, Legion was a very cool design monster. The final fight was epic. And the humans actually had a very interesting story. And yeah, um, and this movie was very unique. And I really enjoyed it. Um, however, it does not beat Gamera Revenge of Iris. Which I'm definitely putting an S. Iris is one of the most unique monsters they have ever creative, created. And the final fight was incredible. They even managed to put it in a building. And the humans in the final fight were very useful. And the ending actually had a bit of sadness to it. Um, one of the people was swallowed by Iris. And they were saved. So technically Gamera was a hero in this movie. And we actually did get a clip of Gauss in this movie near the beginning of the film. Gauss always likes to be in the Gamera movies. Um, and last but not least, we've got Gamera the Brave. Zedus is an underrated villain. I actually enjoy Zedus. Zedus is basically a dinosaur. Now, I'm going to put Gamera the Brave above Gamera vs. Barugon in A tier. Um, I really like Toto. Um, so... Um, um, unlike the Heisei and Showa era, who had Gamera, the Millennium era, which is Gamera the Brave, decided to add a new turtle, a brown turtle called Toto. And I'm going to be very honest, I love Toto, he's absolutely adorable. And in Fighting Zedus was very creative, and I like how Toto got stuck in the giant building. And the kids named Toru had, like, an incredible um, relationship with Toto. It was um, an amazing um, duo. And Gamera the Brave is underrated. Tell me your thoughts in the comments of these movies. Thank you for watching.